Welcome to Biot Anime. HSP90. HS90 does not act in nascent protein folding. It binds to substrate proteins, which are in a near-native state. The HS90 family is highly conserved and it includes HTPG in the bacterial cytosol, GRP94, GP96 in the endoplasmic reticulum of eukaryotes, HS75, TRAP1 in the mitochondrial matrix, and HS90 in eukaryotic cytosol. Cytosolic HS90s are further termed as HSC82 and HS82 in yeast, HS83 in Drosophila, HS86 and HS84 in mice, HS90 alpha and HS90 beta in humans. HSP90 forms a constitutive homodimer through its carboxy terminal residues. The amino terminal region is highly conserved and contains the ATP binding pocket. N-terminal domain is followed by a conserved and structurally flexible middle domain. The middle domain and the N-terminal domain are separated by a divergent charged sequence. Both N and C-terminal domain is capable of binding to a substrate. ATP binding results in dimerization of the nucleotide binding domains and result in formation of circular structures. This interaction between the N-terminal domains is essential for ATP hydrolysis. ATP-bound state of HSP90 binds stably to substrate polypeptides. Whereas the substrate release is achieved through ATP hydrolysis, by opening up the HSP90 dimer. In its ATP clamp state, HSP90 encompasses a sizable domain of the substrate by optimally exposing the substrate binding phase. HSP90 in the eukaryotic cytosol interacts with a variety of cocaparone proteins that assemble into a multicaparone complex and regulate its function. Binding to HSP90 is largely modulated by co-chaperones containing a modular domain with helix turn helix tetratricopeptide repeat or TPR motifs. HSP90 binding TPR domains have also been identified fused to other TPR domains, which recognize HSP70 and then connect HSP70 to HSP90. Examples are P60, HOP and STI1 or recruit HSP90 to the mitochondrial import machinery, example TOM34. Example, ATPR cofactor CHIP has been shown to link HSP90 with the ubiquitination apparatus, controlling protein degradation by the proteasome. The TPR domain cocaparones bind at the COOH terminus of HSP90. In the case of the cocaparone HOP, the TPR domain recognizes the signature COOH terminal residues MEEVD of HSP90 that are anchored by interactions with several conserved residues in the TPR domain that form a 2-carboxylate clamp. Similarly, a separate TPR domain of HOP in a similar fashion with the last eight residues of HSC70, that is GPTIEVD, held in the groove of the TPR domain and anchored by an identical carboxylate clamp. HOP acts as an inhibitor of the HSP90 ATPase by preventing access to the nucleotide binding site of HSP90 and has been proposed to be part of a substrate loading mechanism for HSP90. HSP90 HOP HSC70 complex permits transfer of a substrate polypeptide from HSC70 to the nucleotide free state of HSP90. Binding of ATP to HSP90 displaces the HOP HSC70 loading system and simultaneously close the substrate binding clamp of HSP90. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and share. See you again in a new topic.